Rodgers this week. Is there any difference between a regular Aaron Rodgers and an angry Aaron Rodgers? Because last week he called his team out after a 22 nothing win. Um, nah, Aaron Rodgers is Aaron Rodgers. Um, he's, uh, he's good. <laughs> he's good. <laughs> he's good. He's fun to play against, though. Got good battles. Um, but he's definitely a, a challenge. Definitely. Did he already help you at all this week? Mm. I mean, I'll say yeah, you know, because I mean, you play against him a lot. But I mean, he's still good. <laughs> he's still, um, he's still dynamic. Um, just amazing some of the throws that he can make and the way he sees it and the release accuracy. He's, um, he's definitely uh, a challenge. In your estimation, what does this defense have to do to be successful against him? Um, well, we got to play smart. Um, you know, we, we, we got to stop their run game. And we got to communicate well. You know, it's going to be a it's going to be a, a game where we got to be all on the same page. Aaron Rodgers is going to present his challenges. Um, but we got to make sure we're communicating, flying around. Everybody on the same page and uh, get the run game stopped and that way we can, you know, focus all attention on Aaron. What needs to be done to be better at stopping the run? Um, you know, I think when you when you look at the film, and even before you look at a film, I mean, anytime runs break out or things happen in the run game, it's, it's always either a misfit or a missed tackle. That's really what happens. Um, nine times out of ten, if you fit it right and you make the tackle, runs don't break out. If you have some misfit or somebody missed a tackle, then the runs break out. So we just got to do a better job making sure that we're all fitting things correctly and tackling. Is that film work or practice or combination of both that you can improve on? Um, both, you know, you gotta you gotta know um, what they're doing, the runs that they that they wanna, you know, run, um, and then you just gotta make the plays. You know, you gotta make the plays. You gotta go out and execute at a high level, and you know, a lot of that starts in practice, taking proper angles in practice, making tackles. Wrapping guys up in practice, and you know, hopefully, it carries over into the game. I know you guys want to win, but what's the weight of a win this week with it being a division game? Well, division games, you know, they 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 count too, you know. So obviously, we're not in the spot that we want to be in right now. Um, but getting a big division win against Green Bay is is huge. You know, we get a win in our column. And we're able to get them a loss in their column. That's that's huge. So, division games, you you got to go out and you got to win those games. Does it, make a, does it make a difference to you guys mentally you think going into the bye week with a win or not? Oh, you always want to go into the bye week with a win. I mean, you want to win every week, obviously, but you don't want to you know you don't want to deal with a loss over the bye week. It's, it's a long time before you get to play again. So, you want to go out. You want to play well. I mean. You uh, you don't really have anything to, I don't know, save the tank for. You get to empty out the tank and let it all out and, you know, you got all week to recover and get ready for the next one. Have you ever had to play with a cast on your hand? Or? Yeah. And it's obviously it's not as good as being healthy, but what challenges? Um. There's definitely some challenges, especially in the defensive back. You know, you, you use your hands a lot. Um, but, I mean, you can deal with the pain. You can, you can, you can make it. I mean, I did it my second year. Broke my hand uh, against the Jets, I think. And then I came back the next week, I had a cast on. 
caught three picks. <laughs> so. Maybe it's a good one. <laughs> yeah, it's easy. <laughs> <laughs>